Almost all of us will have a personal story with cancer or another disease that, that's happened inside our families. And that just provides a, a fuel that brings people in every single day because, you know, we're here to make a difference. In drug discovery or early development, we're always trying to meaningfully increase our knowledge of any given pharmacologic target or candidate molecule, thereby giving it greater chances for success as it enters early, later stage clinical development and ultimately through registration. Nine out of 10 compounds that enter clinical development fail. And that's a very real and very significant problem. There are stages in the drug discovery process. So there's a lot of stages. And drugs fall out along the way because they are toxic, they're not specific, they don't work very well. We wanted to think about how do we look at this paradigm a little bit differently? Could we use transcriptomic profiling to say, hey, what can we learn about a drug right up front? Could we make the drug more specific? Could we make the drug less toxic? Could we do that right up front where we still have time to go back and make a change? We've got a proprietary technology in RNA, and so what we're looking to do is to unravel the transcriptome. And RNA essentially is, is almost like a traffic camera that you can hang on the LA freeway system. And what we have the ability to do is to hang 20,000 traffic cameras so that you can really understand what's happening in that patient's network. And once you understand what's causing the disease, you're in a better position to, to begin to try to fight it. By being able to profile the entire transcriptome uh, with, with uh, a single sample and being able to then pair that with our microRNA product, again, provides an, an interesting look that no one else can do. Our sequencing technologies married with uh, medicinal chemistry design in an intelligent fashion will contribute further to the de-risking of molecules and thereby giving them even greater chances for success. This basic approach early in the drug discovery process could be applied to any given therapeutic area. It could be applied to oncology, to immunology, to, to the neurosciences, etc. So it, it really is an additional approach that indeed will be disruptive um, as drug discovery continues to evolve. It's going to make um, building new medicines and new drugs uh, faster and less expensive than today. And once they get the, the drug on market, we can have a diagnostic so that when you get that drug, you know you have a very high probability of actually having a positive response to that drug. There may be a patient in a bed in a hospital room with family visiting them, and they're scared. But one thing for sure, with those medicines, they have a great chance of being treated and going home. I look forward to the day when there are drug products bringing meaningful benefit to patients who need them and knowing that our approach at this time really gave birth to that whole new generation of, of molecules through uh, early discovery. If there's anything we can do to make life better for patients and their families when they're faced with that kind of thing in their life, I, I feel like that's why I come to work. That, that's why I'm doing this.